Hello, hello! Uh, my name is Garrick, and today we're sampling A Jest of Robin Hood by Fred Serval and GMT Games. Uh, Surely a jest. <laughs> joining me today is Drew. Hi. Who was unable to interrupt me as we started the stream today. I win. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> you do win. I'm gonna, even if, even if, no matter how this game goes, I will record end it. my day in disgrace. You'll record it in, you know, BG stats as a loss, regardless what the final <laughs> points are. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> um... Let's see. It's been a few weeks since we've played this. Uh, Drew cheated on me and played with somebody else, but apparently there have been some updates uh, that he's seen that I haven't, so uh, there, will, there might be some cool new cards in the deck. I'm excited. Yeah, the updates are pretty much just six new event cards and three or two new uh, tempo cards. And this has had a slight switch from being tracked based on revolting to now being tracked based on submissive. And there is a reason for it, but it's very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we go ahead and get started then? Yep. First card. Well, hang on. Uh, I don't. Oh, you got. I forget if I'm supposed to be able to see the first card before I place my pieces. So oh, you hadn't placed me... those yet. I, I was think just... I'm. I think I'm supposed to place before I see the card. So I was just trusting this. that you'd finish setting up already. I sat there for so long. I was too busy trying to snipe the cold open on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put my pieces out. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's do that. I think. Sure. All right, now we can look at the first card. <laughs> Tax collectors. Oh, that's a funny thing to start oh, with. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, if I had put everything there, that would have been so juicy. So juicy. That would have been the funniest start ever. Oh, no. <laughs> Like, I'm tempted to just do it anyway, but two versus two, it's Nottingham, so I'm rolling the crappy submissive die. So I need basically a five or a six. It's a one third chance of success. Oh, man. I would totally do it if I had four. Um, but instead, I will. Uh, hmm. You know, I don't love doing plots and deeds right now because I can't do any deeds. None of these deeds are particularly useful, or actually half of them are not even doable. That's not a parish. That's already revolting. No henchman to turn. Could basically swashbuckle somewhere, I suppose. Uh, all right. Yeah, I guess I will. Well, what's your event? Confiscate in up to two parishes, even if you're revolting. I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a single plot and just uh, um, wow, rally. Valley, recruit, recruit, recruit. recruiting in Sherwood Forest, and then you're up. Okali dokali. Um, I don't think the event's actually useful for me right now. So I may as well just plot some deeds and do it that way. I was gonna say, if you're gonna confiscate, it'd probably be better to uh, get a actual plot in right because there's there's no i can't take advantage of its benefit you can't take is... advantage of the part where it's revolting right you can do it even in revolting so yeah so all of that is a cool event i think that might be one of the new events because i don't remember no i feel like that seeing that before. old but we also probably shouldn't sit is here it? trying to guess if a card is new or old for the whole stream <laughs> that's true that's the last time i will do that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I'm just reacquainting myself with the um, the plots and deeds. Hey, Lee Hook. Lee. Thanks so much. Three months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Super space. Let's, um... I don't know, let's go nuts. I like going nuts, right? We'll, um... <laughs> we'll hire in each of those spaces. That cost me six. Mm-hmm. Two in there. Two in there, and four in Nottingham. I don't and like then, what I'm seeing. What's that? <laughs> I don't like what I'm seeing. <laughs> and then we'll uh, confiscate in Mansfield and Tuxford, I think. Mm, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> And set them to revolting, and then I think I'm done. Yep. Rally it up. Rally it up. It's a snap. Um, all right, so one carriage moves. Yep. All and one parish to hidden. I'm just reading the event real quick. Uh, we'll go ahead and move this one and take our buddies with it. Uh, just one. Oh, is it just one? That's yeah. Right. I knew that. That was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, huh. That is an interesting event because... It doesn't say flip all merrymen in one parish to hidden two shifts one right. step towards justice. So I wonder if I can just get. I think you could still do it, yeah. Um, and then what would be my alternative? That does give you the option to do a single plot, but I think I'm fine with that. Actually, no, you're probably going to take a single plot anyway because you're dead broke. <laughs> <laughs> um... hmm. Yeah, I think I take that event for the justice. I hope this is legal. Fred, if you're watching in the future, don't get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to take plots and deeds for the money. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh, and it's a depot of events. <laughs> um, ooh, oh, man. Oh, dang it. I would love to. I don't know that there's any way to take advantage of this. Yeah, I don't know that there... 
It's a weird event. I think I feel like every time it's come up, it's been almost good, but not quite there. Yeah, it feels maybe slightly too niche. Oh wait, no, no, no. Actually, this is I can't totally. No, I can't. I can't. Because you're gonna get a carriage movement before. Yeah. Before I get to uh, do anything, so. Hmm. Oh, well, you're first, technically, I suppose. Oh, am I, uh, well, then I'm not redeploying, because that would just be terrible for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I think I don't want to do anything either. Okay. That event. This is very useful for Robin if I've been uh, patrolled and revealed somewhere. Yeah. I just get a free escape, but uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, next card. One carriage. We all know which one that's going to be. Yeah, yeah. We'll just go ahead and move this one in. Um, so that's an order. And it was a trap, so I get two shillings. Cool. Uh, oh, man. This is an interesting event. I don't think I want you to get that event. And it would be interesting to stick some Merriman into Nottingham, even if they're probably going to get killed off. It forces you to waste actions. I think I take that event. Fair. So there's your henchmen back, and they get replaced with Merriman in a very inconvenient spot. OK. Um. Let's, uh... Mm. I'm going to maybe be a little silly. I'm going to go ahead and do plots and deeds. Uh, and we're going to, uh, maybe not that one. No, probably still not in him. Mm -hmm. We're going to... Yeah, we'll do Nottingham. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to spend six to hire okay. in those spaces. Oh, nice. We'll drop it here, flip it back to submissive. Uh, you don't place henchmen if it's... It has to be submissive to place henchmen, so flipping it back is oh, the you're whole right. you're, thing. You're right, you're right. I'm rusty, that's my excuse. Uh, that's okay. Do, do. There we go. That's fixed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, we will still drop four into Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And for our deeds, that is a lot of henchmen. <laughs> there's a lot of henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
We'll, uh... You know what? We'll just do the same two as before and do carriages. <laughs> I love it. Okay, <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> Who needs money, right? Wild. Um, uh oh. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, Dang it. Yep, taking that event. <laughs> uh, well, first, I need to move a carriage. Oh, right, you gotta move a carriage. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and move. This one. Okay. The question is which one? That is a good question. I don't want to remove Retford because there's that one event that. Uh, or no, it's not an event. One of the travelers uh, lets me pay to convert it for free if it comes up and I have enough money. So I want that option. Um, see, it turns out knowing cards is a part of every game. And that's just... I mean, okay. it's not a part of games that don't have cards, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fair enough. All the cards that you like that have all the cards that you like, all the games that you like that have cards... I was waiting require... to see where that went. <laughs> <laughs> all the cards that I like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um... <laughs> all the games with cards that you like <laughs> require some level of deck knowledge to be good at the game. Sure, it's not it's not the 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 me the needing to learn cards. It's the quantity of cards needed to learn that I think is the. the well, that's the thing with Twilight Struggle. There's really only like mm, eight cards that you need to know. Sure, but you don't know that until you know them. them all. <laughs> well, of course, but like this game is the same way. There's several cards that could like totally ruin your plans if you don't know what they're doing. Uh, and you just you play the game like three times, and then you've seen that happen a couple times, and then you know the game. Same with Try the Struggle. There's there's not that many like, oh my day is very ruined because this card event happens, uh, and you learn them pretty quick. Homo Ludens, Fred. Hey, Fred. You missed me cheating. Um, probably. <laughs> not necessarily. So uh, <laughs> the question was if you're allowed to take uh, Prior of Kirkless. If there's if there's no um, merry men that are face up, if you can do it on face down, merry men. But no, actually, we had tax collectors round one, and Drew was sorely tempted to use it. Unfortunately, he put two of his merry men down in Rimston and didn't go for it. But it was it was almost a thing. Okay, yeah, we we thought that because it doesn't say hide your merry men to uh gain of justice right you could do it even if all of your merry men were revealed or hidden already are you gonna pick a so parish yet, Drew? thank you uh no i'm i'm still deliberating but yes <laughs> weapons of the week did show up on the first ballot and i am very excited i had priority <laughs> british div uh i'm just like agonizing over what to uh what to do and then we got into a sidetrack where i tried to convince garrick that he should play twilight struggle it's an ongoing project. <laughs> uh, For the record, I, I have think played you work. Twilight Struggle partway through a few times. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I didn't know that. You did well, know then that. You're, I've told you You're more times. forgiven. Okay, but I remember everything that you've ever told me. <laughs> I remember everything you've ever told me, so good. <laughs> <laughs> this all uh, checks out. <laughs> it's nice to know that you hang upon my every word. Except when we're playing John Company, in which case you just ignore me like a meanie. Well, you know, and John Company is necessary. <laughs> That's basically what, what he wants me to do, Fred. He wants to play Twilight Struggle against me, and he's played a lot. And I've played, you know, like three half games against the AI. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. The AI doesn't count. It was. I, I've, this is all things I've told you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Oh man, I think I think Newark is probably the best one to get rid of because it's so hard to get to, but it doesn't, to my recollection, have any events that would allow me to flip it for free. So we're gonna do this. Although the real question is, how do I? Oh, just unlock it and delete. Okay, great. Easy peasy. All right, all done. All done. Okay. Great. Oh man, that is so so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, we do love this game. This game's really good. It might be my favorite coin game or coinish game, whatever, you know. Don't have I'm me. just gonna keep calling the ICS games coin games. They're, yeah, right. I'm gonna do the same They're, thing. It's a coin game. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I added it to my ranking of coin games, so it's official. <laughs> It um, came in at number four, so excellent work, Fred. I guess that sounds less like... <laughs> <laughs> See, Fred's on the same page as us. That, <laughs> oh, good, yes. See? Don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> don't, don't let anyone watch this recording. <laughs> <laughs> Except GMT. Except GMT. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, we're we're going gonna... to stage a popular revolt against GMT. <laughs> uh, an insurrection, you might call it. Oh, no, wait. Actually, the word I'm looking for is insurgency. I don't know. Liberty or death that was, was an that American was insurrection. Your turn. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> the stacks are eight cards, right? Is that mm -hmm. is it eight, including the the um... including the royal inspection? Okay. So there are two more ballad, or okay. there are two more event event cards, ballad cards. Yeah, it literally says right there, ballad cards. I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, there are two more ballad cards before the inspection. That's um. I like how you already reset your your piece. <laughs> um, Wait, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Oh, that's weird. Unless I did it absent-mindedly. <laughs> or I did it absent-mindedly. Right, I, either one of us could have. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much am I stressed about these things? Probably not. Probably not. Need a ride. Now is not the time. Yeah, you could give me initiative again. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, we're just gonna just hire. Ride. You'll you'll be good. We're gonna hire here to flip it back to submissive at the cost mm -hmm. of two coins. Two dollar dues. Dollar reduce. Wow, now you are very broke. I am very broke. Let's Crazy. see what happens. Easy. Let's see what happens. Hey, royal pardon. Royal pardon. Um Well, two carriages. Okay. That's something. That is something. Uh we're certainly moving this one into Nottingham. Yep. Uh let me decide you which gonna, of these. You're gonna take the henchman with you? Because you don't need to. I am going to take it with me. Okay. Cool. It is intentional, thank you. Uh, we'll, I guess, move this one with a henchman. <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, nice. Money, money. Yes. Five dollar redos. And then one order for me, please. Ah, uh, yes. That's right. Okay. Uh, and then I have first initiative. Let's see what this does. Oh, well, that's useless. Let's 
I'll go to the movies. Um, <laughs> you automatically get eligibility after the thing Correct. yeah the check inspection whatever um let's let's plot some deeds Will got three on my board. Nothing over there. Nothing there. Why is my thing on plots of these? <laughs> oh, I grabbed yours. I was so used to being second eligible. <laughs> I'm going to say that when my marker went back to the eligibility board earlier, that it was you absentmindedly moving it. It might have been. It might have been. That's my conclusion at this point. Oh, wow. I can become Ooh, famous. Ooh, I do want to become famous. <laughs> Fan. Man. Okay. Oh, Garrick, every time I get an opportunity to become famous, you just ruin it for me. <laughs> Your head's big enough, Drew. <laughs> um... I don't know what makes you say that. <laughs> We're going to patrol there. Cost of two. Move everybody in. And then that, uh, that reveals them. Uh, is it? That's oh, right. Capture is harder in revolting. Yes. Patrol is harder in forests. OK, so yeah, you get both. Ah, no Robin Hood. That's a no sure. Robin Hood. Uh, and our deed is going to be to ride. We'll send four henchmen back into Mansfield. Cool. Uh, well, that makes my choice easy. I will attempt to rob here. Um, I will reveal. OK, wait. So the next card is the last valid card. So I'm going to get a Plots and Deeds if I want it for the event. Um, yes, this is a fine setup. Uh, so yeah, I will, I will reveal everyone. OK. Surprise, it's Robin Hood. Surprise. Um, and your carriage is a trap. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Let's hope this goes well. <laughs> uh, so you have strength three, and I have strength four. Yeah. We are in a forest, so I just need to not roll. Oh God, I only have a. <laughs> <laughs> I only have a two thirds chance of not <laughs> sending all these guys to jail. This is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, here goes nothing. God, I swear, if my shitty rolls didn't get washed out last <laughs> night. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, phew. 
Dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That okay, so you... I successfully rob a carriage. Yep. Uh, I don't get a justice because that's not a wealth carriage. Uh, I just get the... Wow, I'm very rusty. No, what no. happens? Uh, oh, yeah, I just robbed a wealth carriage. Uh, you just get the two money. That's all. That's right. You get the money that was in the carriage. That's right. Two shillings. Trap carriages suck. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I put it there. I know, I know. Uh, okay, that's it. All right, on to the next card. Yep. Oh, hey, it's on the back of the card now. Look at that. Yeah, I like this a lot. It just clearly tells you that it's coming up. All right, uh, I have to move two carriages. I only have one, so this one's yep. coming for a trip. Yep. I'll pass it with the other one. It's clearer. If Robin is hidden, reveal to place camp. Two shillings. Sad day. Um, and. Well, that's a nothing event. <laughs> oh, no. It is a something event, though. That's terrible. Damn it. I was going to sneak, then donate. But then that event allows you to just reverse the sneak and donate. Yep, so. it does. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> uh, well, shit, now I got to rethink my life. It's okay. That's, that's a pretty typical thing for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> um... Hmm. The stacking limit is one camp per space, right? It sounds right. I got the. Yeah, sure. I'll check the rule book. Fred will tell me before I can find it, though. Yeah, most likely. Oh man. Yeah, one per space. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're excused. So I'm probably recruiting. Yeah, I remember there's that event that lets you place multiple in a space. Yeah, that's. Um, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. So we're gonna do Thank you, Fred. plots and deeds, um, and we're probably just gonna recruit. Actually, I don't think you can. Actually, I don't think I need to uh, sneak and donate because I'm pretty sure I'm getting a justice no matter what. No, you could. Yep, I can flip. Brimston. You could hire there because you have more henchmen than Merryman. So actually, I do just need to recruit there. Can I do that? Revolting parishes. Yes, I can recruit in revolting parishes. Sweet. Yeah. So I will just recruit there and recruit there. Um, what's my deed? Oh, I can turn coat. Sweet. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And that's going to cost one. So I'm paying three shillings. Um. Oh, even better. That means I can place a camp there, I think. Yes, it does. Awesome. Uh, yep. OK, cool. So yeah, I will uh, replace a merry man with a camp in Remston, which shifts towards justice. Uh, I will place two merry men in Sherwood Forest. If I can fit them, let's move this. And then I will turn coat this henchman. And I believe that protects that revolting space. I believe so as well. It means you can't just capture what I just did. 
Uh, oh, shoot. No, you could cat. Well, but then you can't hire to put it back to revolting. So I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, that's it. I think that's a reasonably solid move. You're up. Um, well, we're certainly single plotting. <laughs> what, you don't want to reveal Robin Hood? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Think about the inspection. I th think what I do I think it's just a simple patrol into here so it flips during the inspection. Mm, yeah. And that minimizes yeah, my solid. losses. Yeah, it denies me some money too. I think. Uh, I think you might get paid. Oh no, first. I get the I get paid. Yeah. Or I get paid first. Wait, no, is that true? Oh, you get paid based on camps anyway. That's right. I was gonna say it gets you one more shilling, but your no. shilling per submissive comes before. Yeah, time, so it's it, just it's just letting me just sets you up for next round. But... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that seems like a good move. Okay. Okay. Time for the inspection. Uh, so you move a carriage. Yep. We move this in. It's a well. Uh, was it already here? Yeah, it was there. Yeah, it was. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's a wealth. Nice. You yeah, nice. So uh, is this a must, by the way? Do you know the move a carriage? I think so. Pretty sure it's okay. must. Like, the whole like point. if it was here, would you have been stuck moving it into here to allow me to free rob it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, that's basically what happened. Yeah. We had to move two or whatever, and yep. uh, I had to move the one and the two. Cool. All right, so that gets you two order. Yep. Cool. Thank you, Fred. Um. Then did you get your two? I did get my two shots. Uh, and then you get then one justice. You, I get one justice from only three. Or only four submissive spaces. Um, ah, this is such a good change. <laughs> like that one event. The the event makes is really this cool. Track very subtly harder. Yeah. yeah, the event is very cool. Like like this is it feels you know the same to me otherwise, but the event makes it very cool. It is it is identical. Right. This track is identical, except the switch means that that event makes a difference rather than 
yeah, anyway. I think right, the uh, I think the revolting was slightly more intuitive for my brain, counting from that direction, yes. but it's not a huge deal. The event makes it more than worth it. Yep. Anyway, uh, okay, no victory. so no victory. Uh, I get a shilling for one camp in the forests. Yep. Fred, we both uh, adore the little adore deer on the camps. If that's not on the final product, I will riot. <laughs> He'll stage an insurrection. <laughs> um, I will single rob. Uh, let's see, you have two henchmen there. Yes, they're absolutely adorable. I could flip these two and count Robin Hood, so I could get three. It's not bad. Against your two plus whatever's in the Traveler's deck. Yeah, that feels like it's worth the risk. Monks, that's hey. definitely worth the risk. That's what you need. Um, uh yeah there's no risk to failure because i'm not in a parish so yeah i'll attempt to do the shaded side uh you could roll a minus one and fail couldn't you uh yes but i meant the the like the mm. downside to failing right. where you have to submiss you right. have to flip a parish to submissive is not relevant because i'm not in a parish yeah so if i fail it's whatever uh yeah so i'm rolling the green die i have strength three to their strength two Let's see what we get Hey. That is a success. That is. I'm a pretty success. sure. So that's three shillings. <laughs> Fred, I'm very amused by imagining you saying "mo downside." <laughs> <laughs> mo money, and mo downside. That's removed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that silliness is over. Um, uh, uh, reach okay. I may donate, donate, but there yeah. is nothing to donate. Um, that's right. I do need to reshuffle, although it doesn't matter because yeah. there's no discard. Um, there's nothing to prison escape, so I'm done. Now it's over to your sheriff phase. Okay, I get one shilling per submissive space, which is five. I remove half my henchmen in revolting parishes rounded down, so I remove one from here. Yep. I uh, flip parishes with more henchmen than merrymen to submissive, so right there. And then used carriages go back to available. Which I'm very yep. happy for. I used a lot of carriages that round. Uh, yeah, that, was, that was an interesting round for carriages. It was, it was. Uh, Alright, so these guys need to leave. This guy needs to leave. Go one back and bing him. I don't know if I need three in Mansfield right now. Although, maybe. Get okay, bolster up this way. <laughs> I'm hoping so, Fred. I'm hoping I put him in a bad spot. Oh, we love the new events, Fred. Drew and I looked through them last night, or more accurately, Drew played with them already because he cheated on me, and then I looked through them with him. They're very cool. <laughs> they are very, very good. Um, yeah. Whatever magic design sauce you're using, keep using it. Uh, I think I'm especially impressed by Queen Eleanor. Yeah. Uh, because yes. it single handedly makes the calculus around always doing the the remove effect on the travelers much, much riskier. Yeah, I know I've been complaining a lot about the traveler deck feeling just a tad off. I think that one event fixes it basically. Uh okay, so Yep, I think I think I know what I want to do.
All right. That'll do. All right. And then I put you back in first eligible. Let's pull that stack out. And uh, keep on keeping on. Yep. First card. Friar Tuck. Friar Tuck. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> that is a very nice event that is not relevant at the moment. Yeah. Uh, let's... Hmm. Mm-hmm. I still wish revolting was green instead of red. <laughs> so that it reminds you of... Of Robin Hood, yeah. That's... Just because submissive is blue, my brain, you know, correlates it to henchmen, so I want revolting to be green to correlate it to merry men. Yeah, I, I could see that. Red makes more sense intuitively to me, but I also could see... Tying it to Robin Hood's color. Jugalay, the it's not in the rules, it's just uh to make counting easier. Yeah. Cause everyone does it anyway, so it it shouldn't be relevant to anything. There's no events that, you know, care about the discarded cards from the deck or anything like that. Well, and even if there were, we've preserved true. the order of the cards over true. here. We just set it aside. Very true. Um hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of think we should just always play coin games in the separate stacks. Like, not even bother making a full deck out of it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Just keeping the, the stacks separate. Yeah. That, that would help. Let, doing what we do where we set aside the previous play, uh, previously played cards every time the break card comes out doesn't really work in normal coin right. games. Right. It works for Jess, but not for the other ones. Yeah, the... The cards are variably seated, whereas here they're always eight apart, so it's easy to just move it, and then you know that it's a new deck. Yeah. But like sometimes if the card comes early, then like setting aside the deck doesn't mean you've actually gone through the whole card set mm -hmm. yet. Anyway. Um, uh, Erzad, they, uh, they have enough pre-orders. Like, it's hit the, the limit. It's getting printed. Uh, it's just, you know, things are backed up right now. They've got... A number of other titles to print before it so it's it's still a little bit of ways off but it's it's coming which is something just not quickly enough yeah i think it's up to like 800 ish or 700 ish which is like it's probably kind of the link. post it yeah you should oh man this is tough um i just i think i you. will just let me impress you. I love it. I think I'll go for a single plot. 843 recruit... orders to date. Okay. Yeah, oh my goodness, right. what is that weird link that it... Hold on, let me get a better link. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, I don't know how it, why I did that. Just take the same link and delete everything after the hash, or the pound sign. Sure, work. that's one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am recruiting to place a camp in the other forest. There. Forest that no one talks about. There's another forest? Which forest is this? Well, whatever, I don't know. Something Southwell? Southwell, Southwell? Forest, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. You're up. I'm up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm taking plots and deeds. And we're going to not have been smart enough to think this through. Uh, oh wait, and uh, I get an order for that. Oh yeah, you made it. You made it. Obviously, obviously. yeah. Whoops. Lee, the nice thing about this game is it so far 
in my experience, has been very easy to pitch to people who would not normally be like candidates for coin games <laughs> for the most part. Because like the Robin Hood theme is very appealing to people. Uh, it's short. It's only you only need to find one other person, um, and it's like really somehow it's very simple and intuitive. Like I I played with a friend who bounced really hard off of Falling Sky and uh, even harder off of Pendragon because I'm a sadist and convinced him to play it. <laughs> uh, uh, but he loved this game and like had no issues with it. So it 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 seems like it's got a wide audience. You could probably find somebody to play with. Maybe. And it's a good intro to coin. It gives you all the foundational framework and mechanics that you need to be able to jump into other coin games. <laughs> you have to have friends. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, I find a mirror is my best friend. <laughs> How do I want to push against you? It's the right way. What to do, what to do. I feel like I need to be more proactive against your pieces. The eligibility isn't where I want it to be for that. Yeah, I've been experimenting with just not taking plots and deeds very often as Robin, mm -hmm. and it feels a little better. Like, I, I think Robin Hood is kind of set up to just try and have to, like, scrape by on a lot of single plots and events Yeah, when they're worth it. Um. I mean, I've only played one other game of Robin Hood, but I, I played, I tried to do lots of plots and deeds, and uh, I just got wrecked because it opens up too many opportunities to punish Robin yeah. when you give too too much initiative away. Which is a very cool bit of asymmetry. Yeah. Like, the sheriff is kind of geared towards getting lots and lots of plots and deeds, but having to be reactive to everything. And Robin has way crappier action economy, but more initiative, tempo, control, etc. I like it. Uh, maybe there's a way to switch and play the other way around. But it seems like that's kind of bad for both factions. I think I have an idea. Just make more carriages. It'll be fine, Garrick. That's what we're doing. But I have an idea of how to do it. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we're going to do is patrol into these spaces. Uh, we'll move two and two, which flips two of your merry men. And we'll move uh, do, 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 two and two. 
One one maybe. Okay, cool. No no no, they're just it's it's a patrol, they're just flipping. I know, I'm okay. taking them to hit in to decide which one's which. <laughs> decide which ones to flip, yeah. I got it. Um so those two will get flipped and then gonna grab this stack. And those two come on, mouse, there we go. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to confiscate in Mansfield and Tuxford. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very clever. I like it. Going to be hard to rob with <laughs> five henchmen <laughs> in the rounds. <laughs> huh. Very interesting indeed. Um, okay. And then that's that. All right. Yeah, I already played. So next event. Hey, uh, Queen <laughs> um, Morality questions and morality check has been passed, so I get a justice. Dang it. Corruption. I need to move two carriages. Oh, two carriages? Really? All right. That's not what I wanted. Move one in here and move one in. That's the, This is in the forest. Correct, yeah. Uh, uh, and we'll remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm just pointing it out so you don't question me again. <laughs> <laughs> here, just put it right here. I just, yeah, I, I'm worried about it like flipping over like that. <laughs> oh, we gosh. look very much yeah, like right. an overflow box spread. We're just a bigger map. A just, bigger map would, would be... Smaller uh, pieces is not, as well. not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, uh, those are my carriage movements. Um. Wow, that is a weird event. Dang it, I don't want that. Shoot. <laughs> Chunk your pieces. Chunk your pieces. <laughs> That's fine. Just make the map bigger. Yeah, yeah. As long as the map is 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 you know a big chungus map, I don't care how big the pieces are. Err. <laughs> Wow, this is this is very sad. Yes, yes, massive neoprene. That's exactly <laughs> what I want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, metal coins, please. Yes, metal coins. We must tarot have metal cards. Coins. Yes, tarot cards. <laughs> That plastic we, we can, fig better be leave. that plastic fig better be the size of the Cthulhu that Kaman put out for Death May Die. <laughs> I have that thing. It's massive. It is massive. Oh man, what a pickle of an event. Um or card. Yeah, corruption tends to do that. <laughs> Hmm. Well, yeah, I think I just let you pay. My event is not worth doing. Especially since I could just do plots and deeds and turncoat you somewhere. Uh, oh boy. Well, let's... The carriages are not happening, so we're just going to ignore them and see if we can go cause trouble elsewhere. Uh, so we're going to do... Oh, man. Sneak is based on origin spaces, so single plot's only going to do one. Hmm, 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 hmm. Tough choices. Hmm. 
Yeah, OK. I am going to do plots and deeds and hope it goes well. So we're going to sneak out of here and here. Um, so everyone is going to hide and then get rejiggered. Disperse. Disperse, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Uh, let's, let's do, I think I want to send two up here. I want to leave one. And then one will go over here. Okay. And then this group will get shuffled up. And we will leave one and send two over here. Makes sense. So that cost me two shillings. Uh, and then for my deed, I'm going to turn coat. What am I going to do? Um, it's either turn coat or donate. I think I donate to flip this to revolting. Fair enough. All right, that's it. So Oakley, you are up. Oakley. Um, that event seems pretty good for me. Yeah, it's expensive, but uh, probably worth it. Yeah, I think so. So I'll pay two shillings. But I figured it was going to happen anyway, so I might as well. Yeah. Make it awkward about where to do it. Let's do it in Tuxford. OK. Those were just two regular merry men. Makes sense. Merry mans. All right. Uh, that's our turn. Yep. The red cap. The red cap. So move a carriage. Yeah, hold on. I was just reading the event. All oh, right. Yep. Okay. Um, there's one in each spot. Uh. Go ahead and move this one in, uh, and we'll take a henchman. And it is money. Money. All right. Justice or order? Yeah, order. And then I have first eligibility. Yep. Uh, let me just put these guys in the region. Four cards into the ballad. That event is kind of interesting. Rather take single plot. I don't think Robin's in a position to actually use the event for you. 
Yeah, everything is revolting. Yeah. <laughs> so it would only work if Robin is in Remston. You gotta decide if you want to gamble on that. Oh, actually, can I get, I think I can get a justice no matter what. Can you? I was reading the then as in, well, I guess it isn't two. Well, it is, it is a two, but I think I could just reveal Robin to shift. Like I, so I reveal Robin. I don't get to shift an adjacent parish revolting because there's no options, but I do, I would, I think be able to do the justice. Yeah, on second consideration, I do agree with that interpretation, so we are going to just take the event. Oh, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, Garrick, reveal Robin Hood. <laughs> All right, let me go through one by one. <laughs> uh, is he is one? up here. Okay, he's up there. I almost chose that one, too. Uh, we'll move, got four in there, we'll move two from any Those here. Those guys are, oh, it's any other space. Nice. Yep. Very legal and very cool. Wait, I think I got that backwards. <laughs> the more awkward, the more awkward sounding one is the correct one. <laughs> uh, okay, so... What do I want to do? That is enough to capture Robin Hood now, even though it's revolting. Um, I guess I could rob a traveler there to reveal the other guy. <laughs> Fred joined my Discord. Hey! Hmm. I could do plots and deeds and turncoat you, I suppose. Yeah, and I kind of desperately need some money. I hate to give up tempo again, but I'm going to have to give up tempo to hide him or protect him somehow. So yeah, I think I do plots and deeds. I'm going to rob Ooh, really? here and here. Okay. I think. Feisty. It's going to be strength two against your three, but it is revolting. It's decent I, odds. I can always take the top events if it's something nasty. Guy of Gisborne's not in the deck. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, do I rob in the forest? Mm, now, if this is a trap, that base is screwed. So, or camp. Uh, do I rob in Mansfields? One versus one. 50 50 odds. 1v1 me, bro. <laughs> Parking lot after school. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Because you can't, you can't easily counter capture him because it's revolting. Wait, am I getting that right? Yeah, capture is two for one in revolting. Um, and I need the money. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, those are my three spaces, and then I'll probably be turn coding, but uh, I guess we'll see how things wash out. So let's rob up here first. Okay. Against the Traveler's deck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Rich merchant. Um, so that is strength four against my two. So I'm going to take the top. Makes sense. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to give you two shillings. 
So here goes nothing. It's okay, Drew. Money isn't real. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, so nothing happens. He's discarded. That that literally uh, is I just pulled it out of. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> uh, this guy will then rob the traveler's deck. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the top half. Um, I can't. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Hope for a three. Hey, hey, look at you! That's really, really needed. So that's that three shillings, as we might say, clutch. Very clutch. That's what the kids say. Uh, in the yep. And then down here in Remston, we are going to. Hope for Richard of the Lee, now that I have some money. Damn it. All right. Uh, bottom? I think it's worth doing the bottom. I don't think you can fail it. Uh, no, I can, because if I roll a minus one, oh, he's strength fair. one, I'm strength two. That's fair. I guess minus one does fail it. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. How much do I need four shillings? Like I said, money isn't real. And how much does giving you two shillings make a difference? It makes a big difference. Does it? Um, yeah, I mean, really, you only have three actions on your current stack. I also have and, a... I also oh, have that's a true. You do have a carriage. Oh. Yeah, and it could be the fiver, so... It probably is the fiver or the wealth, because you knew that there was no way I could rob those, so no point in putting traps down. Um, <clears throat> my guess is it's the wealth, though. Or a trap. Uh, it's the same money as a wealth. Yeah, but a trap would have been pointless. There was nothing I could have done about either of those carriages. You had way too many. You you protected them perfectly by piling all the guards into the forests right before doing your confiscate. It was ass to ankles in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Arr, oh man, this is a tough choice. I. What can I say to get you to make the wrong choice? I'm trying everything. <laughs> I think on balance, taking the bottom is worth the risk. Because it'll pretty much set me up to do the rest of my, probably the next ballot. I probably won't need any more. I won't be worried about robbing anymore. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to go for it and see how it plays out. Nice. Yes. Whew. Okay, so this is removed. I get four shillings. That was really, really clutch. As the kids say. We're not on the schoolyard anymore, Drew. We resolved Mansfield. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I... Hmm. I could also sh schwash swashbuckle. Schwashbuckle. Schwashbuckle. Uh... I don't think I need to turn coat in Blythe because you can't capture Robin already. So you have to move more pieces in. I could disperse. Oh, crap, you're right. Uh, that's fine, because then I can just put Robin Hood back. Disperse doesn't... Yeah. Uh, doesn't get you the justice for capturing order. Robin. Or the order, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll turn coat over here. I think that creates more problems than just reducing your count up in Blythe. Sounds good. So I will pay my shillin. I will place Merry Man, and then finally, I'm done. We're on to the next card. Okay. Made Marion. Made Marion. Ooh. That's, a that's cool an interesting ability. event for you. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's not relevant because that carriage is getting delivered. Oh, whoop, whoop. yep, you're right. Off to Nottingham. Uh, do I want to move a dude with it? Um, I think so. Uh, all right, it is a wealth. Yep. As you anticipated. So that's two order and some dollar dues. Some dollar dues. And then I have first eligibility. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Card five of eight. Hmm. This is what you might call a popular uprising. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen Robin successfully generate this many revolting spaces yet. Let's be real here. Half of it was me. <laughs> No, I, I know, but like I think I think all the games I've played, it's been a little bit more neck and neck, and you've uh, you've focused hard on the carriage game, and you're still ahead. So yeah. it like it's not. I don't. I think it was a bad thing. It's really. I guess. I guess my comment is, it's cool that the sheriff can potentially just play the carriage game all day long and yeah. worry less about the revolts. I agree. That like both factions have so so many different ways to pull off wins in this game. It is really, really good. Somebody in the Discord uh, the other day was saying that they won a game as Robin Hood uh, and just ignored revolting the whole game. Like They basically played Robin Hood as a folk hero and just got justice from events and robbing. Like He just ran around and like had adventures and won the game with it. <laughs> like completely ignored the popular support part of the game. That's really cool. It's like, oh, that's cool. That is so cool. <laughs> that that's a valid path to victory for Robin. Yeah. <sighs> Got ideas. Ideas are dangerous. Uh, I think we're going to try pushing a single plot and we'll patrol into, oh, these are all still on the map. I'd already mentally oh, blocked them. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Um...
think we're doing it like that. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Tough choices. Let's, uh... Let's take the extra one. Yeah. Alright, and then that's going to flip your one dude there. Yep. Yep. And that's my turn. Okay. Hmm. So there are two cards left in the ballad. They're going first on the next one. Um. Uh, definitely taking plots and deeds. Well. It's a cool hmm. event. No, that is a cool event because I uh do I have any r hidden I that I I read that as I could inspire with any merry man. So I as long as I have as long as I can get a merry man hidden into a parish, I could inspire it down to either revolting or get a justice it's already revolting i think so and that's why i tried to limit your options there huh it's yeah interesting. No, that was that was that was uh this makes a lot of sense huh i was sitting there trying to think through the repercussions of the event or the plots and deeds and like the things you could do and it's a cool event it yeah it is a very cool event Very, very interesting. I think I do take the event. Uh, I, I think I was going to end up like sneaking and donating over here, and this is just cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So the real question is, do I want to sneak to hide? Basically, these guys are at risk. And this one guy. But honestly, if you do, if you waste your next turn capturing, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to worry about hiding. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do Maid Marian's distributed leadership. I'm going to perform a free single sneak. So this guy is going to hide and move over. Yep. And then I'm going to swashbuckle with him as if he was Robin Hood to reveal and switch this to revolting. Okay. And that is just disgusting. Oh, if only I could get this one more. Three towards <laughs> justice is like so juicy. It's never going to happen. Never, never going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> but I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's the card. That is so, the card. On to the next one. On to the next. Alan no Adele. Sweet, that's a good event for me. That's a very good event for me. Mm. So yeah, now you now you have some problems. I was really hoping that the next event would at least cause some kind of dilemma, and it did. Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't. 
<laughs> this game is so damn good. It is. <laughs> what have you done, Fred? <laughs> Which of the muses did you capture and lock in your closet? <laughs> Uh, Houston, we have problems. <laughs> Shoot. And this screws up everything. I had a plan, and this event was not part of it. Okay. All right, we're going to take the event and we'll perform the single patrol. Like Famous again. <laughs> the bots are very aggressive today. They are. No, you know what? I'm just going to take the two shillings. Ooh. Nice. Um. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, this is this event really screwed things up. Yeah, this is all kind of bad. All kinds of bad news for you. I have way too many options right now. Yeah. I, in fact, I don't know what to do with all of them. <laughs> um. Next card is the last card. So I think I I think I want to go first and get a plots and deeds because if I get a if I do if I do a plots and deeds now. Then you get a plots and deeds next. Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to control the tempo. So what do I do with my single plot? Um <laughs> Which then becomes a question of what do I want to do with my potential plots of deeds next? <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Now I'm just hoping for a good event. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, Chugale, that's what I'm thinking. If I take the single plot now, that sets me up to go first, and then I get plots and deeds on the last card uh, 
before the uh, royal inspection, and then I get first eligibility after the inspection anyway. So yeah, it's uh, it's why I really wanted going, to move on to single plot this turn, but that that event yeah, forced my but hand. that event is really yeah exactly. As sheriff, you always want to go into the last card with the initiative, so that you at least you can deny Robin that free plots and deeds with no damage to the tempo. Yeah, and and on reflection, I think I probably should have just let you have the event, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't know. It depends on what the next card is, and a free justice is never good for you. It does. Um. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's okay. I took a long time. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, I I could move one guy. Let's see. Can you capture? You could capture that camp though. If I leave this space, if I could leave this space, I could sneak into Tuxford and then set up for a sneak plus donate. No, nah, I don't think that makes a difference actually, because you're just gonna get. You'd then just use your single plot to like hire here. And one to two submissive doesn't make a difference. I think I'm getting two justice going into the royal inspection, no matter what. So, uh, yeah, I think in that case, I just recruit and get some more pieces out on the board. So I spend a shilling, I will recruit in Sherwood Forest. Okay. All right, next card. <laughs> Sweet, that is not an event that I'm that worried about. Oh no, it's going to give you an order. It Arr. is going to give me an order. That's interesting. Uh... And the event is not particularly useful for me. Oh man, this would have been... Actually, I should have snuck over here and then set up to go hide that thing, because then you could have gotten an order, but you would have been stuck with zero submissive spaces. <laughs> and no money going into the next round. Well, no, you always get a shilling out of Nottingham. Yeah. Um... Oh, that's a little disappointing. Let's see. If you're getting an order either way, then me doing recruit plus swashbuckle or some other thing plus swashbuckle is basically just going to zero it out. Uh... And you get that bridge. I mean, Always you could nice. use boats and bridges to get up to Redford. <laughs> oh, that's a great point. But then I give you a plots and deeds. I can't give you a plots and deeds because you can do multi hire actually. And then that gets you up into the only shifting towards one justice. So yeah, actually, I, I think I have to take plots and deeds just so you can't. And then if you get an order, you get an order. Um... The bridge is unfortunate. That bridge is really useful as the sheriff. Yeah. Although I suppose there's only one more ballad. Or one more. Yeah, one more ballad to take advantage of it. Uh, I am. I guess I could rob in the forest. Or I could just recruit. Yeah, but I'm only getting one merry man out. I guess I could recruit in Mansfields. Yeah, that's the play. I recruit. Um, in Mansfield and in... Uh, 
I don't know, the other forest, I guess. Yes, because I'm going to lose Mary Mint. Yeah, I'll have all my Mary Mint out. So that's two shillings. Oh, shoot. I can't swashbuckle with Robin if he's already revealed. Dang it. That's fine. I'll live. I don't know, will you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that does mean I don't need this recruit, though. Yeah, I might as well save my pennies. Uh, shoot, did I already pay the two shillings? I don't know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, because I, I won. Yeah. I got a lot of shillings from the last rob. Uh, so I'm still going to pay the two shillings because I'm going to end up turn coding somewhere. Uh, but first, we're going to recruit here. We're going to replace this guy with a camp in Mansfield, which is an order. I mean, a justice. Gosh, I keep saying the backwards <laughs> thing for the faction. <laughs> uh, and then I... Actually, I will, I will recruit again. And we will get a Merry Man up here. Mm, even better, we're going to get a Merry Man there. And then I will turn coat to place this guy here and swap out that henchman. And then I'm done. You're up. <sighs> Let's see. Really hoping for a better event. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's not what you wanted right now, I think. Yeah. I need something that would swing the same way Alan Adele did for you. Yep. Erg arg. Yeah, I will take the event, get the order, get the bridge. Which is going to go... I think just Nottingham to Remston. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. And that's that! Okie dokie! That is, in fact, that. Uh, so there's no carriages to move. We check submissive and revolting, and yep. I get two justice. Yep. Uh, there is no victory. Uh, Robin Hood, I get two shillings from poaching yep. in the King's Forest. Um, I can single rob, so we're going to do here for sure. Flip three. Let's see what the Traveler's deck gives us. The Potter. Um, yeah, I think I'd definitely gamble. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, 
Let's see, I have three versus one. Oh, it's guaranteed. Yeah, so I take the bottom half. Jesus. Yeah, that's bad for you. Uh, okay, so yeah, I I uh, I succeed automatically. I'll roll the die though, just for funsies. It's minus one, so I have strength two versus their strength one. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have to move Robin Hood revealed adjacent to Nottingham, which is fine. We'll do here, I guess. Uh, two shillings from me. I get two shillings from you, and you gain one justice. And I gain a justice. Yep. Oof. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. That was a great. great that was a trip. great traveler for you, Jesus. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I'm loaded, but there's nowhere for me to donate, <laughs> so I skip that. Uh, there's nobody in prison, so it's on to the sheriff phase. Oh boy, uh, I get two shillings. It's good to be rich. <laughs> uh, remove half of henchmen in revolting parishes rounded down so that's one from here one from here two from here uh, then parishes with more henchmen than merry men flip to submissive so that's uh, this one this one and that's it uh, two and then let's see, carriages back to available. Oopsie. And we move on to redeploy. Uh, henchmen have to come back to submissive spaces. Um. Throw an extra one in Tuxford. And I think that's my redeploy. So it's on to you. Yep. Um. Yeah, Chugule, that that second ballad was rough for me. Actually, I felt I felt in a good spot through most of it, and then that Alan Adele came out, and yeah, it screwed up my yeah, ability some... to, to flip those all back to to submissive, which I was set up to do. You know, yep, I was gonna yep. flip three of them, but yeah, rough times. Yeah, I got I got exactly the right event at exactly the right time. Yeah, and then that traveler is just salt on the wound. <laughs> yes, the traveler, <laughs> the potter is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it's like so risky to to take that half of the potter. Yeah, but not today. Not today. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'll, everyone can hide, and they got to go to forests or camps. Um. <gasps> Yeah, so let's just grab everybody and shuffle it all up. This is one area where TTS is much more awkward than real life. Don't forget the guy in Blythe. Huh? Blythe? You're the guy up here. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh... Yeah, let's put these somewhere or out of the way. All right, uh, let's let's think about this. Yeah. Maybe this one. 
up here somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's safe enough for now. So that's what we'll do. Uh, and then I am back to first eligible. And then we are off to the third ballot. All righty, here we go. Oh, come <laughs> on. All right, that's the game. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, shit! That really boy. might be the game. <laughs> that really might have. Uh... <laughs> that might have screwed you. Yeah. So I will take that event one step towards justice. <laughs> Fred, fix your game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um All right. Well, I better capitalize this moment to single plot. <laughs> Broken game. Yeah. Janky hack, mate. That's a that's a reference that nobody here's going to get. Um we'll go ahead and hire Can confirm. Did not get. It's from the Super Mario ROM hacking scene, which Ah, okay. I'm I'm really into Super Mario ROM hacks. <laughs> anyway, uh Super Mario World it. technically. Anyway, <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, we're yeah. hiring there, and that's just going to be it. All righty. <laughs> I will take my free justice. <laughs> Oh no, oh, this game is this game is, is definitely so over now. now. <laughs> You're so dead now. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking funny. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, let's not let's not belabor this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, worst ballad ever, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, I went off of Mr. Oh, Toad's geez. Wild Ride please <laughs> let me off <laughs> <laughs> let's um oh, man we're just having good times Man, yeah, like every every one of the new tempo events has gone against you. And if they had been switched, it would have been fine. Like right. if that event came out when Eleanor did, right? Uh, you would have gained probably because you early game you had a lot of submissive. It's and just, now I have three removals, so Eleanor would have screwed me now. <laughs> right. It's just one of those games where like the events came out in a way where like I yep. certainly I could have played better, but they came out in a way that really helped you out. And yeah, yeah, I, I was given a lot of opportunities for sure. I, I I feel like with the way the events are coming, I need to hold the uh, the priority a little bit. We'll um, <laughs> let's let's patrol over to Remston with my new bridge just to show it off. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I think that's currently enough to remove everything, so it forces a response. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Okay, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Um, oh yeah, I definitely don't care about Bishop. Yeah, you don't care about at that at this point in the game. Uh, so I will do plots and deeds, and it's probably going to be a sneak here and a sneak in one of those forests. Um. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, yeah, I totally can afford that. Um, 
and this one. OK, so cost three for the sneaks. Um, I'm assuming I can just move in place just to hide that guy. Like every other coin, you can do that. But I suppose we should might want to check. Sneak just says, move merry men to any adjacent spaces and hide any that moved. So actually, maybe I can't. Yeah, it doesn't read to me like you can, but Fred will probably chime in any second now, even though I'm checking the rule book. It's a, it's a principle thing. Yep. From Garrick each origin the space book. to any adjacent spaces. Yeah, it doesn't read to me like you can move in place. Yeah, I think I think most coin games define spaces as adjacent to themselves, but if but I doubt that's yeah, I still need yeah, to, yeah that makes sense. I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, so then I guess I will just do this and <laughs> swap these, <laughs> swap these two. Yeah, so, so I'm not gonna move them around, but I I actually like that because it it actually provides good reasons to have bases next to each other. Yeah, you can you can protect them with a double sneak if given the opportunity. No, yeah, I prefer it this way. Uh, and not just because okay, it helps me so, right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so that does mean I can do one less donate, which is a little sad, but uh, whatever. So we're going to then move these two up here. I'm pretty sure, Jugale, uh, I, th I feel like you can march in place in at least a couple of the games, but I might just be... Like, you can definitely do that. Uh, really, I'm thinking of Falling Sky. Falling Sky is the only game where you march and hide. Everything else, you have to rally to hide. Um, and in Falling Sky, you are allowed to march in place and hide. And I think it's because it defines as regions as adjacent to themselves. Might be some other reason, but that's definitely legal in that game. Well, Fred is philosophically against it, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, so yeah, I, I will march these two over here, and then I will pay two to donate and wow suddenly i am broke again it's okay probably worth you're it. you're just dabbing on me right I'm, now i'm just yeah I, i'm totally just dunking at this point <laughs> <laughs> all right on to the next one yep and what will it be what horrors will it contain for garrick oh <laughs> horrors for me except it's way too late it's to put way too in the late deck. <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, and let me actually be responsible and clean up my messes. <laughs> So now I can patrol in place, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, wow. You're right. You, according to the wording. It's, yeah, can't. it's the same thing, which is huh. which I still agree with, just not at this exact moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's but that's also like a weird thing, because in every other coin game, you can definitely sweep in place. Yeah, but I, I see the. The rationale, because it's patrol. Although once again we have an interesting problem of oh, these two well, are adjacent, so you can just we can just bounce back and forth. I guess Look, maybe we can, you could interpret we can replicate as, the sweep loop. <laughs> I guess patrol you could interpret as selecting the space. You move zero pieces, and then you reveal one for each one in the destination space. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. It's move any number, and that yeah. number could be zero. Uh, I know in some games yeah. the designer would argue that zero is not a valid number for this sort of thing. I, I'm guessing that's probably not the case here. Yeah, Fred. Fred's on our side. I see how it is, Fred. <laughs> philosophically against the concept of spaces being adjacent to themselves, <laughs> but not philosophically against the concept of zero being a valid number. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a good side. <laughs> um, it really matters so little, though. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't. I'm not sure how you. There, there is no victory horror. for me here. Yeah. Let's 
like realistically you would need to get you'd need to get five of these back to submissive but that still only gets you down to there and then you would need to what capture two cam three camps or robin yeah i mean there's no success here there's no glorious victory it is yeah i am I think doomed we're grinding it out yeah <laughs> So we're just going to... <laughs> Red and yes, the sheriff is done. Yeah. <laughs> very, very done. I think I maybe... No, no. Those events just screwed me hard. Even if I'd taken the alternative choice of plots and deeds instead of blocking that event yep. Uh, yep. and flipping the, the parishes, like I still wouldn't have anything against those events just being like, have all the justice all at once. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two in a row right at the beginning of the last ballot is pretty yeah. harsh on yeah. the sheriff. Well, and you would have gotten an extra one from the event and just gotten one yep. less from the from the inspection. So like you still would have right. been in a good spot. Yeah, I agree. There's only three cards left too, so I don't even think it's physically possible, even if I took zero actions for the rest of the game for you to win. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think if there's like... So we could we could call it if you want. We don't have to like play out the last three. I don't know. I feel like we, we should could, call it out. We could play so Toledo close. War instead. But we've gotten to that awkward point where my brain no longer is able to find moves because I can't do anything to win. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> my brain just like shuts down in those scenarios. That's true. There are only three cards. We can play it out. Yeah. Or I guess four I'd cards, including this one. I just have to fart out some actions. Um... <laughs> That's uh what's funny is I also can't think of things to do because right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what the, the game is over. What else can I what else can I do to make me my score even higher? I don't think there is anything. Right. There's no longer an incentive any more structure. Camps. There's there, the game is over. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I guess I could I guess I could try and make both of these <laughs> revolting. <laughs> that's gonna be my goal. <laughs> that's your goal? Got it. Got it. <laughs> I don't see how any, I don't see how I could make my score any any more bigger than it is at this extremely more bigger moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm choosing something. I'm choosing something. Um, like again, it super doesn't matter, but. Uh, Or, man, I don't have money now. This sucks. This sucks. <laughs> we'll take a single plot. We'll, uh... Just... Berg. We'll just hire. Gotta rebuild my army. Cool. I'm going to do plots and deeds and rob and fish for uh, Sounds good. Richard of the Lee. <laughs> so we will rob here and here and Mansfield solid. Uh, oh yeah, in Mansfield. Yep, thank you. So we'll do Mansfield first. Monks. Monks. Guess I should have taken Guy of Gisborne. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It might have actually made <laughs> made this entertaining. Uh, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Obviously, I'm doing the bottom half right, at this point. Right, right. Because Eleanor is gone. Um, and might as well. So I get three. Then here, I'll flip. And it's the Miller's son. Um... Actually, the bottom is kind of lame on this one. I don't have any merry men. <laughs> I'm just so I can look at the top. Yeah. yeah. One chilling, chilling, baby. Uh, zero. There you go. That's a success. So I get a shilling. And then over here, 
Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, nothing. Uh, but I think really. I will just reveal two. Yeah. Yes, I found Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. You have found Robin Hood. Might as well reveal three. Wait, that's not Robin Hood. Where did no, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> where saying... did I put Robin Hood? <laughs> I was I was joking that it must be there if you're leaving some hidden, but <laughs> well, you you already know what this is, and literally everything else is revealed. Oh no, he could be there. Yeah, I don't remember where I put him? Well, whatever. I'll just <laughs> I'm gonna leave it as it is. What did I get? Dang it! It's the Noble Knight. Yeah, where you are you, Richard? You originally Damn actually it. only flipped two, but <laughs> again, it doesn't matter. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'll I'll do the top half because it really doesn't matter. Uh, hey, there you go. Oh, that's three more shibling, shiblings. 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 Um, shiblings. <laughs> and then it's a good thing Fred's not here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I actually I probably can't turn code anymore because I have all my merry men out. Womp womp. Okay, I guess I'm going to swashbuckle, and I have to actually figure out where the heck Robin Hood is. Well, whatever. It's either this space or this space, so right. I'm just going to look at them, because it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, he, I put him in the forest. Um, yeah, so there he is. Uh, I'm going to move them both over there. Okay. Next card. Little John. Little John. Udalali. Oh, that's actually a good event for you. <laughs> that is. Hey, look at that. We're, we'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mansfield. All right. Uh, so I will do plots and deeds. I really wanted Richard in the lease so I could just get this thing done and ignore <laughs> it. But should have taken the boats when you uh, had the chance. Yep, should have taken the boats. All right. So I'm going to sneak um, here and here um let's see one two three great yeah that'll work i only need two i'm pretty sure so that's two shillings um we're gonna send two merry men up here Oh, does he not hide if he doesn't move? Yep. Cool. That is that is interesting. That's a little bit different. I like it. Uh and then um I don't I don't know. This All right, I guess I should figure out which one of these is Robin. It's the left one. <laughs> it's the left one you remember and I don't. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, we're going to send this guy to Retford. Oh, hi, Robin. And this guy is going to stay in Tuxford. You don't know that. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to donate in two parishes, which is four shillings. Um, I need to have equal to or greater than henchmen. They don't... Uh-oh. And there goes Drew. The end. I must have dropped it on Discord, too. I'm all alone in here. I mean, presumably he's flipping these two. Let's see what else. He paid already. I'll just play for him. We don't need him. He doesn't have to reveal for that or anything, right? Don't I? No? Yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next card. Will Stutely. Ooh. I don't like that event. 
Not one bit. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> hey, you're back. I decided to just play out the game without you. <laughs> <laughs> Since neither of us are uh, making decisions. <laughs> yes, no, we're not. I, I donated in the uh, in those the two obvious yep. spaces where I can donate. Yep, so I flipped them. You're, um, you're up while I, I get back in. I pulled up the next card. It's Will Stutely. I don't uh, know what he is. The event's actually a little annoying. <laughs> is it really another yeah. annoying event for you? <laughs> Move a hidden merry man to a parish from an adjacent space, then move all henchmen there to Nottingham. <laughs> oh, that is kind of annoying. Yeah. Me. Especially right now. Right now, yeah. <laughs> so I'll just block the event and take two shillings. And maybe I can do something on my last turn. Doubtful, but maybe. Oh, is this not the last card? No, it's the penultimate card. Uh, or I should say the penultimate event card yeah you know not counting the final inspection um come on tts i'm gonna give you plots and deeds your server and you're just gonna dance in place <laughs> um yeah, honestly i was just gonna sneak and then uh like sneak back and forth to hide pieces and then swashbuckle Robin up in the top region to put it to revolting. <laughs> so you could just do that for me while I you already, try and get back into TTS. <laughs> you already paid the top region to make it revolting, didn't you? With your donate? Uh, no, I donated in the one where there's three henchmen and three merrymen. I thought you did both. Is it only? Yeah, it's up, it's up to two parishes. Oh, sorry. The second parish was the one to the right of Nottingham. Uh, I forget the name. Blythe? Blythe is the one north. It's already revolting. I mean, your, other, your, your option is Mansfield. I thought, you set that one, I thought you set that one back to... I set Mansfield back with the event. Mansfield was the one that I wanted to... Whatever one you set back to the event, I was going to fix that. Got it. See, that's what we call the left of Nottingham. Not the right. Shit, did I say the right? You said the right. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, and then you were going to... Wow, how are you still not back yet? You are going to sneak... TTS is, like, not finding your server. I'm just going to reboot real quick the my Steam client. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, global chat's not freaking out or anything. No, it's totally me. My, I don't exactly know what happened to my computer. Uh, I don't know. I think an update got pushed and it like logged me out randomly. Who did you want to move around and hide? Uh, oh, okay. I'm back. You're back? Or I'm about to be back. I don't see you back. Mostly it was a, I don't really care about the plot. I only care about the deed. Right. So what can I do with the deed? Oh, I only have four shillings. Maybe I should do something else. <laughs> Maybe I should rob. I mean, do you need, <laughs> do you need to do anything else? No, I'm kidding. Uh, just <laughs> move, just swap the, the two in the forest back and forth and hide them. Like this? Exactly, yeah. And that cost me two shillings. It's still loading. Thank you. Okay, and then you and then swashbuckle... Swashbuckle Robin up there to set that to revolting. Yep. Mission oh, accomplished! I told you it was Robin. Everyone hates you. <laughs> Everyone hates me. I knew it. <laughs> All right, final card. Ambush. Ambush. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, man. I am shrubbery, but not trees. Uh, yes, Fred, but, but the game ended like three cards ago, and I, just, I had to do something to yeah. make my actions make sense. And so I felt like making sure all of them were revolting would be at least something to do that would give me a goal besides... I can flip one of them back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, you can flip one of them back. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't lock down this one, so that's sad. I really wanted to get three justice. It would have been amazing. Yeah. 
it nulls out to be about the same. So I'll just yeah, take plots does. and deeds and hire there. Yeah. And flip it for the honor. Yeah, it, it totally doesn't matter, but it, it, it nothing has mattered this whole ballad. <laughs> 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 and uh, is there anyone else I care about hiring? Not really, because it is a desolate wasteland for me. Uh, do we want to disperse somewhere out of spite? <laughs> That's true. You could pick up a second order by deleting that camp. Sure, I've got three shillings. Let's do that. Bam. Uh, Chugale, he could have he could have recovered from this if it was like the second ballad. Uh, but just because he only had four cards, and I was, uh. Basically, like, because everything is revolting, he needs to get back to... He needs five to seven submissive spaces to get order during the Royal Inspection. And because this is a blank space, uh, effectively, he needs almost all of these spaces to get back to submissive. And there was just no path for him to do that with the three cards that he has remaining. Order doesn't once I got swing up to four. the same way that Justice does. There can be big yeah, Justice swings. Yeah. There, there aren't really big order swings unless you get, like, exactly the right events maybe but even then i think there's more of them for justice yeah so he would have he would have needed to get the submissive track all the way back up towards order which only gets him one so that would have put him like down here and that's like literally clearing the whole map basically and then after that he would have needed to get two more order somehow from like capturing bases and or robin which just like was not gonna happen it was not gonna happen because we we i had very few of my pieces left after Yep. Having to suffer through all those revolting parishes removing pieces, and you had a lot of your pieces out. Just because yeah, I've literally had big. every single piece yeah. out for most of this last ballad. So. so there really was just nothing left for me coming into this ballad. Yep. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything that I can think of to do, so I'm just going to pass for yeah. chilling, and we're going to end it. <laughs> yep. And it's uh, yours. So I get two justice, and then the game ends. King Richard returns. Prince John is deposed. Yep. Man, that was a great game. Despite like the <laughs> those first three events of this last bout screwing you all in a row <laughs> was like kind of a an anticlimactic end, but it was nonetheless. It was a very tight game for most of it. Yeah, I thought I played a really strong first ballad, and I thought it was really fun and interesting. And then the second ballad yeah. was was interesting and fun. Uh, you know, that one event came out at the wrong time, but it wasn't yep. necessarily a game over. It just put me in a bad position for the third ballad. Uh, yeah, you easily could have recovered, except that Major Oak came out and gave me a free justice. And then Warden, and of, then the Forest Warden came of the out. Forest came out and gave me another free justice. <laughs> right. If there and wasn't... Then... If there wasn't free justice for you, just like hanging out in that third ballad, like maybe we could have had a tight final ballad and I could have maybe cinched out a one order win or something. Yeah. But... Well, and then I and then I used the third card, which was an event that neither of oh, us cared right. about to because I, I still had for uh, tempo uh, going into that third card. And I'm pretty sure that's when I did plots and deeds and like basically set almost everything to revolting at that point. Or something i don't remember but like at the end of the third card is when we were like oh yeah sheriff is doomed <laughs> well you also got potter let's not forget which gave that's you right that's what yeah. i that's right i robbed on this card and it happened to give you a justice and it happens to give me a justice so yeah the first three cards gave me three justice <laughs> and uh did i rob and donate i think i robbed and donated so like i did all that and then i set one thing to revolting or something I'm already forgetting because it was so yeah. silly. It was so silly. Yeah. But yeah, it was. It yeah, was. You, you, yeah. Yeah. It's still a good time. This is still a great game. Yep. Love but Fred, it. fix your cards. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Fred just needs to fix the order in which the cards come out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fix the deck by by fixing the order. Literally, fix the deck. Yes. By fixing it. <laughs> Ah, who did comeback mechanics, Jugalay? Just play well. <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah, that, I don't know that there's enough time for right. real comeback mechanics. Like, it's a this short is, game. 
it's a short game and it's kind of a tightrope the whole way and and it's it's uh not easy but it's it's possible to just kind of fall off the edge and get stabbed by the knife that you're trying to walk on and die <laughs> yeah i mean i i'm fine with the game just you know being give letting players excel and then you know just calling the game if things are over yep but you know that holds true across like all games for me yeah one well, if we weren't streaming we probably would have actually called it yeah when that happened so that yeah. seems fine Man, I love this game. It is it's a still, great game. It's, it's cementing itself. And those, those new events are really cool. One of my faves. Yeah, the new events are awesome, Fred. All of them All are of them. very, very, very good. Um, only, only like two or three of them are hugely impactful, but the rest are very fun and clever. Uh, although I know there's one that you're thinking about changing. I forget which one it is. Yeah, he mentioned it. It was great playing, Fred. Thanks for stopping by. What did you say you were going to change? It's one of the cards that has to do with Allendale. I forget if it's Allendale or the wedding one. Tale of Two Lovers there. will have a more interesting effect soon. Okay, yeah. So that's the one about Allendale's wedding. I think we saw it. Uh, nope. Somewhere. No. No. Then here. Guess nope. Not. Did we not get it this game? I guess not. Where'd you put all the other... Oh, you just tossed them up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I could see changing that. I, I think there might be enough cards that give justice on events already. I don't know if it needs another one. I agree. And this is just a very plain Jane effect. Not that that's yeah. inherently a problem, but if you have a cool idea for it, it's a great, you know, candidate for replacement or improvement or, you know. Yep. Anyway, that was uh, just a Robin Hood. Always a good time. It's on the GMT 500. If anyone's interested, uh, support it. It's awesome. I highly recommend it, especially if you want to get into coin. It's a great intro to coin. It's a great two-player game. I really like this game. If, uh, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I definitely think that this is the, or should be the canonical, like, first coin game. Yeah. M maybe People Power will also work in that slot. Uh, if you want to like get the multiplayer experience, which obviously isn't here, but uh, I know yeah. I know People Power has like three way um, uh, spectrums for support or something. Yep. That sounds complicated, yeah. but cool. The support phases can be three different states. Yeah, that's that's really really cool, but probably not great for an intro game. But I don't know. Obviously, we have to play it and see. Which I'm excited to do. Everything I hear sounds awesome. Yep. This is just turning Same. into gushing about coin. We should end this. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for playing with me, Drew. Uh, yep. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back with more two-player stuff, you know, whenever Drew's free. Just quit your job, Drew. I keep telling you this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, may or not be streaming tonight. Anyway, have a great one. We'll catch you later. Uh, see you next time.